Hey folks, how's it going? My name is Blair and welcome back to my weekly beard update. Today, I had a bit of an interesting idea. We're going to take my water bottle and we're gonna pimp it out. I don't have a hydro flask because I'm too broke for that, but whatever. I guess uh, the old Nalgene, old reliable here will have to do. So let's get at it. We're gonna start with um, sketching something down, getting some ideas flowing, and then we'll take uh, my Poscas and some fine liner and uh, start sketching on the water bottle. So I ended up using the original idea that I had right off the start. I don't usually do that. I like to play around with a couple of different ideas and see what works the best, but the first one that I had, I fell in love with how simple it was and how uh, well it would work with the three colors that I had to use. So anyways, I started with this little guy right at the bottom. The idea was to have him uh, grabbing onto, like he was popping his head out of the water bottle. And then, uh, you know, I'm basic, so I put the drips around the top because that's what every artist ever has to do when they first customize something. So I said, you know what? Let's just do it, because drips pretty much always look dope, so you can't go wrong with that. All right, so now we've got the uh, sketch all finished up here. I've decided on, I was wondering about the drip, so I wasn't 100% sure. So I tried them out, just did a little sketch of each, and uh, I decided these little guys go better with uh, my dude down at the bottom there. So uh, yeah, I think it's looking good so far. Let's get to it. So now we're on to sketching on the water bottle, and I discovered really quickly how hard it actually was to sketch on something that's a cylinder, but you know what, it, you start to make do and figure out how to, how to twist it around and handle it, so shout out to my uncle for getting me this sweet pencil. Back in the day, I was probably like 11 and I got into art, and, and uh, he hooked me up. I still whip an art supplies out from way back when he got me a whole bunch of stuff, so it's all coming in handy it's pretty sweet anyways so uh just getting a super super rough sketch on here and kind of seeing how it looks getting my proportions before i actually lay some paint down and i think it's looking pretty all right <laughs> So now we're on to painting the actual water bottle with our Posca pens. And I would recommend for anybody just getting into it that you should probably paint the first layer and then wait a little bit for touch-ups and things like that. Either work with the pens when they're still wet or completely dry. If you get them halfway through, then you start kind of just pushing that first coat around and it really doesn't end up good. So I'm pretty much brand new to using Posca pens, so that's a mistake that I made this time and it got a little bit messy, but I was able to fix it up at the end. But other than that, they were going on super smooth and they dry with a nice flat coat, so they work really, really well for such a shiny surface. I'm 
Now we're getting right to the end, and uh, my apologies, I thought that I was filming for the rest of this, but after I got through doing the liner of the guy, and um, my, my camera stopped filming, so um, yeah, you can enjoy the rest of this, and you'll see the final touches and all the extra paint and stuff that I added around the drips, and the big reveal, but uh, unfortunately I don't have any of the video of when I was actually doing it, but... Not a big deal. Anyways, enjoy the review. Alright, so after a couple days of uh, painting up this water bottle, we finally have it done. There's the final product right there. And I think that effect had uh, turned out really cool. I wasn't sure how it was going to end up. I've never done it before, so I think it turned out pretty good for the first time. 
Um, things I took away from this, next time I'm definitely going to use paint to outline everything and not, uh, not fine liner because it's clearly not meant for this. And I, you can already see when I was painting everything else that there was a couple of places that started to smudge. So I'm hoping that once I put some clear coat on that, then it'll stop smudging, but we'll see what happens. Learning experiences, right? So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everybody's staying home, staying safe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.